I've done it. It's done. What happened? My finger. I was ripping open a bag of Cheetos. And you know how when you tear it open, they fly everywhere? You know that's not how you're supposed to do it, right? Oh, sure. Next, you'll tell me you're not supposed to eat them off the floor. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Emma. And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. So what happened to your finger? Well, so there I was, thinking about my future again. What job is the right one for me? What can I do? And all that thinking made me hungry. Moments later, I was holding the bag seconds away from a cheesy feast. I pulled with all my might. The bag exploded, and there... What? A paper cut. This whole thing was about a paper cut from a Cheeto bag? It might not sound like much, but it stings. I think a little Cheeto dust got in there and it burns. Maybe the press play button can take us to someone who can calm you down. Sure, anything to make this pain stop. It's worth a shot. I'll help by pushing the button for both of us. Three, two, one, press play. Wow! Hey, a doctor's office. That's like right on the mark. I think we're getting the hang of this press play button. Hi there, I'm Dr. Carol. What can I do for you guys? Hi, Dr. Carol. I'm Jay. This is Emma. Well, you see. Here goes. Oh, I was opening a bag of Cheetos. Mm. I know, they're the best. And when I ripped them open, this happened. Ooh, ouch. Looks like you got a pretty nasty paper cut no. there. Ooh, and I bet you got the cheese dust in there. That must sting. Ooh, that hurts too. I can help. I'm glad you came. How did you know all that? But one of my favorite things about being a doctor is getting the opportunity to try and get to know my patients, to see through their eyes. Because a Cheeto paper cut might not be a big deal to us, but it is to him. Part of my job is taking care of that. And let me fix you up while I tell you a story from the book of John, chapter one. All right. See? Sounds good. <clears throat> so Andrew and Peter had already decided to follow Jesus. Next, Jesus found Philip and told him to follow, and he did. Mouth open? Uh, Looks uh. good. <clears throat> Why were they so eager to follow him? Well, they were sure he was the savior of the world. But when Philip told Nathaniel, he wasn't so sure. Mm. Eyes open, uh. closed, open, uh. closed, open, perfect. He knew Jesus came from a tiny nowhere town called Nazareth. How could the savior of the whole world come from there? John 147 says, when Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. This might sting just a little bit. Sorry, I gotta get that cheese dust out of there. <laughs> okay. Thanks, I'm good. That didn't hurt that much. Yeah. Anyways, Jesus seemed like he knew him, but they'd never met. Exactly. That was Nathaniel's question. You know, how did Jesus know him? But Jesus said, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Oh. All right, here it comes. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna check your reflexes real quick. Whoa! Perfect. Yep, Nathaniel knew right then that this guy was for real. He was the savior of the world because he knows us. And just like Nathaniel, I can be sure that Jesus knows me. Ooh. There, all fixed up. Oh, and it sounds like just in time. Big idea alarm, correct? Thanks, Dr. Carroll. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And Jay's finger's all bandaged up, so you wouldn't mind doing the secret press play handshake, would you? I'd love to. <laughs> all right, join in. Whoa! <laughs> well. That doctor care sure is good. I'll be ripping open bags in no time. <laughs> we pressed play and ended up in a nurse practitioner's office with doctor cares. They taught us about John chapter one and how Jesus knew Nathaniel before he even met him. Jesus knows us all the same way. He knows us better than anyone ever will. No matter what I do, even if I get a paper cut opening a bag of Cheetos, I can be sure Jesus knows me. You know what time it is? Time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Get your Bibles out. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. 
Philippians 4, 13. Philippians 4, 13. Uh-huh. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. Oh, 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 oh. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. Philippians 4, 13. 